I don't have any makeup on, but I don't care. Okay, that's fine. So, um, this is uh, Nancy Marish, and we're here today talking about Uncle Charlie's Water from Wide Awake, um, Uncle Ch uh, from Wide Awake, Colorado. It's uh, the Wide Awake Water House is what Charlie's now calling his water. Oh, the Wide Awake Water House? Yeah, yeah. So that's that'd be, good. That'd be a cool name. And uh, if you'll hold up that water. This yeah, this is, is uh, this is Charlie's Water. I drink it every day, all day long. That's great. So you've been drinking this water, Nancy, uh, for maybe four, six, seven years. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, when I'm traveling, I don't carry it with me, and if I'm away or out of town or in a conference or something, I don't have it. But yeah. when I'm here and Charlie delivers, I drink this water. It's the best water that I've ever had in my life. No other water really compares to it in that it tastes better and it really has an impact on my body. It really hydrates my body easily and it just feels good overall. It takes pain out of my body. Wow. Um, and um, there's just something about the energy of Charlie's Uncle Charlie's water that's superior to any other water I've ever uh, I've ever ingested. That's great. That's the same thing that I've found too. Um, the hydration ability of it. My wife was a uh, a kidney patient for many years, and then she received a transplant. But um, her ability, she was on a restrictive water intake, right. um, and uh, so her she couldn't drink a lot of water. And Charlie's water made a, a measurable, distinct difference immediately mm -hmm. for her. But I think one of the for balancing your body's chemistry. Right. Um, from one of the things I know about the wa this magical water that is uh, is called light water out is one of the words that I've heard that is called it's out of this country in Europe they call it light water. Uh -huh. um, it's also known as deuterium depleted water. But one of the first things Charlie told me about it was that it has the water has less surface tension. Right. So it's easier for our bodies to absorb it. That's right. And I noticed that my wife, on a restrictive water diet or, or that she was on from, from being a kidney patient, not being able to process a lot of water, she couldn't drink a lot, but that this water, may, she was healthier with it. Yeah. And I wish I could get all kidney patients to at least try it. Kidney um, patients, cancer patients, yeah. Parkinson's, anybody. I think one of the other things about the water for me is that somehow it balances the body's pH and I, I don't know if it's because of its high mineral content I think it's a combination of everything it's the energy but it's also um, uh, Charlie told me that it's restructured so that the molecules are smaller there's less surface tension it's easier to absorb into the cells okay. into the tissues and um, I'll test my pH before I drink the water and after I drink the water yeah, doing a, like a urine pH test strip. Yeah. And it's amazing <clears throat> the difference. Within 10 minutes or less. Wow. My body's completely rebalanced yeah. with the pH. <laughs> and usually you have to add substances to water to make it pH balancing water. Yeah. You have to add minerals, liquid minerals or something. Okay. What does, what do you know about, Nancy, about the body's electricity and pH. Are well, the only thing I know is that I <coughs> regularly balance my pH. Okay. And that if you don't, if you're too acidic, which uh, all metabolism of all, all cellular metabolism takes in energy and releases toxins and waste. And if you don't have a balanced pH and you're too acidic which is generally the population, yes. the world population doesn't realize that eating processed foods, taking in pharmaceutical drugs, sugar, processed flour, those kind of things, alcohol, yeah. um, <clears throat> all that stuff, uh, trans fats, they all make you as too acidic. And so what happens is that the cells can't detox properly. They can't do their, they can't do their metabolism and their all the metabolic processes that happens whether it's an endocrine system or a digestive system so our whole body becomes too acidic our tissues our organs 
uh, become too acidic and the blood will do anything it can to maintain a balanced pH. So it will pull minerals out of the bone, it will pull uh, minerals out of different places that are needed for metabolic function in general. And so, and I'm not a scientist, so this is a layperson talking. This is my, my description, but basically, if you don't have a balanced pH beam, your blood pH is between 7.0 and 7.5. If you don't have that balance, you're too acidic. Okay. And so you're not, meta you're, you're, not de you're not able to detox properly, and so you end up with all kinds of weird things, whether it's ulcers or reflex acid things with digestion or you end up with a bladder irritation because your bladder is too acidic or you end up with arthritis in your joints and that's all caused in my experience a lot of it anyway is a contributing factor is acidity okay so I do different things to keep my pH balanced it's very hard to balance your pH just with food Yeah unless you're just eating a raw food diet. Okay. You know, animal food makes you acidic, uh, flour and, da and dairy makes you acidic, uh, you know, it's just grains make you acidic, uh, you know, there's everything makes you acidic, just the natural digestive process. So, you've really got to work hard to and be mindful of having a really good pH. and. Uh, people have been able to turn cancer around and all kinds of things, just balancing their pH every day. That's right. So Charlie's water, Uncle Charlie's water, does that naturally because I think it's got so many minerals. It must have a lot of magnesium and iron, and I don't even know what the whole chemical composition is of the water, yeah. but my body just is so happy after I drink it. I feel so much better. And I mean, I can't tell you the difference. You go to a health food store and you buy some fancy water and it just doesn't, ha just doesn't have the same energy to it. It doesn't sure. have the same life force to it that Charlie's Water has. So, that's right. <clears throat> I don't know if that's that, what you were trying to get at. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. As, um, some of the things that I've read um, that I've been recently studying and researching on on the light water, Uncle Charlie's water, also known as deuterium depleted water, is that it's uh, that it is anti-cancer. And in this country, I don't hear many people talking about the re any research being done on it. And I think it's anti-disease. Anti-disease in general. I yeah. It, I think it's anti-disease. And you know, one of the things about cancer, in my experience, of course, I've been studying pH just as a lay person for <laughs> years, just because I want to understand my own body's yeah. issues. But um, from what I understand about pH, cancer and a lot of disease flourishes in an acidic environment. That's right. And so, if you can narrow it down to some basics like acidity and pH, then you can start treating your blood, which then nourishes the organs and the different systems. You can get more uh, you can get more acid detox out of your cells and your tissues and your muscles and in and the spaces between the cells. Okay. And then cancer, um, you know, there's an oncologist in Italy who treats cancer strictly with pH and he treats other, he's an oncologist so he specializes in cancer sure. but he believes that all disease